had a little adventure this morning. We needed to get some diesel and we thought okay we can carry five canisters to the petrol station but we couldn't get a taxi. We couldn't get a taxi it's early in the morning so um, the marina is not open so we are very lucky to be offered a little scooter from the security guy here. I love the Indonesians. He's lent us a scooter, we've got five jerry cans and we've got to make our way to the petrol station and back. Easy going with the empty, might be a bit more tricky coming home. Five jerry cans, two people, no helmets, across Jakarta. So we got to the petrol station, started filling it up, we had to wait. They like did. The, guy, the guy actually lifted the bowser and went, oh, and then he put it back and then uh, we waited five minutes for it to recalibrate and do something or other. And, I don't know, I couldn't translate. I don't know if they were recalibrating, but it seemed very odd. And then one guy came out and he wrote down a whole load of numbers. And I thought, is that so they can re-turn it back to what yeah. it should be? Now we're just waiting for the pump to uh, turn on. Apparently, uh, we can't get it yet. They have to recalibrate it. So 20 becomes 18. I don't know if it's a scam. I don't know if, it's, uh, if it happens to everybody, but we seem to get less diesel than we pay for. <laughs> So we did fill it up and we paid for more litres than we actually got again. Um, but then the other thing was, did we have enough money? And we almost didn't have enough money. Oh, but we did. <laughs> we got there, loaded her up and she was a bit wobbly on the way back. But we did have another hold up at a little cross arm barrier place toll thing. We didn't have our toll card, of course. We're in the Homewood Strait. We've just got a little roadblock in that there's a toll to get back to the marina. And you need a card and we don't have a card. So we're hoping that there's gentleman in front of us will tap his card twice and we will pay him for the honor. I can't believe we did it. <laughs> we, We're not there yet. We've journeyed through the centre, well not through the centre, the old part of Jakarta with five full jerry cans on the right. No problem. His swipe wouldn't work. Everyone piled up behind us about 20 bikes waiting to get it sorted. But we got there in the end he just lifted the bar for us all. Sounds good. Okay. Yay! <laughs> that took about 20 oh. minutes to get through. Oh, which because, way yeah, down there, right there. Yeah. When you watch this, a lot of people go, Oh, you're taking such a risk. And we were taking a risk. But we're here, we survived. We could burn. Street food. We're out here in Jakarta getting a nasty going, which is fried rice. Who doesn't love street food? Lovely little stall here. Little teapot. Dang. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. So we thought we'd have a nasi goreng a la street style. Nasi goreng is a rice dish and it has a little bit of vegetable and it has a little bit of um, little spring onions and then a bit of a soy sauce combo with something else but we think it's a sweet soy sauce sort of thing. Really it's a unique Indonesian meal that everyone in Indonesia loves their nasi goreng. Nasi goreng is very nice. We've had a few before, but not really from quite a street side vendor like this. Like it's just got this little cart. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Look forward to it. It's a very simple dish. It literally is just fried rice. Whatever the sauces they put on it, so good. It just makes such a difference and it's just so tasty. So good. Oh, here comes some. Oh, and a drink. And a drink as well. Three mm. Makassi. Three Makassi. <laughs> you can't get any more street food, I don't think, than nasi, nasi goreng. I'm going to try this egg. It's very fluffy and uh, light looking. Oh, oh man. That's so good. That's really good. This is amazing. You know, what are those restaurants where they cook the food right in front of you? 
Oh, uh, teppanyaki? Yeah, teppanyaki. If, like, you made an Indonesian street food teppanyaki place, you could, like, sell all this stuff for top dollar. Yeah, it's so good. It's so crazy good. And he whipped it up for us in, like, a matter of minutes. Yeah. I think what is the most amazing thing about all this street food um, that you can get in Indonesia is that the value for money that you get here. What would you expect to pay for a plate of food like this? It really is astounding that all of that, the rice, the omelette, a little bit of salad, and a drink comes to one dollar. 10,000 rupiah, which like is less than a dollar US, seven percent. And it tastes good. And the environment is so street. We've got cars or motorbikes coming and going up here. It's such a great atmosphere. It's really lovely. Yeah. It's really lovely. Sate ayam. That's good. Sate ayam or chicken sate. Ten little sate sticks for 20,000 rupiah. That's two dollars Australian. Cameraman That's needs some. Cameraman needs some. Everybody needs some. This stuff is good. Jakarta's had many different names, Jayakarta, Jakarta, and in the 1600s it was named Batavia by the Dutch. We're in the Batavia Marina here in Jakarta and we're going for a wander this morning through the old Batavia, now known as Kota, where the Dutch ruled for 300 years. The elegant Batavia Marina building is a good place to start a history tour of Jakarta's colonial past. The building was once a warehouse for the Dutch East India Company during the spice trade and hosts a maritime museum of model ships that sailed the archipelago. So this, this is a Chinese built boat. It's incredible. Obviously the miniature, but the real thing was 135 meters long and 55 meters wide. It's an incredible boat. And these have been the, um, the old boats that the Chinese, you know, they were great navigators around the world back in the day. And I don't think in Western culture they've got the credit they probably deserve. But man, this thing is amazing. I'd like to have seen that in real life. We are standing on the last original drawbridge here in Kota Tua, Jakarta. This is a 17th century school bridge built by the Dutch when they took over Jakarta, renamed it Batavia and, and used it as a port, as the main port for the East India Trading Company. We've come for a walk down by the canal to look at the old, well crumbling now, original colonial buildings when this was the centre of the spice trade. We tell a little story about the boat, the Batavia, which was due to arrive in Batavia back in the 17th century. It was the flagship boat that was on its maiden voyage to Batavia. It was going to bring the big archway yeah. to the people here, but it went down in the Brolis Islands, Australia. And it's full of bullion. Oh yes, full of the silver coins that were to pay the wages. The East India Trading Company employed over a million people here in Indonesia or in Asia during the time of uh, their rule here and the Dutch ruled here until 1945 that's so hard to believe the in independence wasn't gained by Indonesia until 1945 when the Dutch gave it back there was a little occupation by the Japanese during uh, World War II from 1942 to 1945 but up until then the Dutch were in control of this particular area. Yeah, 
that was a little bit of fun here in the lovely restored square this was the old town hall in the old city Hello. they're trying to restore the building so that's a lovely thing and they've got 25 years to do it so if we come back in 25 years apparently this will all be restored there'll be an old tram through here and they'll be using the canals again oh couldn't be happier <laughs> couldn't be in a better place right now this is where i belong <laughs> Howdy there folks, we're now doing YouTube Shorts, which means you can get even more of your favourite content creators at the touch of a button. Why don't you go head over there and check them out, because they're pretty cool, and if you don't, I'm going to find out and find you. All the chicken, like fried chicken like this that we've had in Indonesia so far, is actually better than KFC. You heard it here. I they they're not using chicken, they're using I didn't say dog. I mean, dog. Oh, God. <laughs>